Hi there, and welcome to Chasing the Twist. Today I have an exciting box to open. Let's get to it. This might not look like much, but a few days ago I posted a photo on my Instagram link below, about how I'm going to get into cyclocross and also commuting on a bicycle. This is that bicycle. I found a great deal online at Mike's Cycle in California. So let's open it up and have a look. I have not opened this box up yet. It's still fully taped. We're going to do this together. Okay, what's the best way to... I've never done this before. Here's one wheel, the front. As you can see, it has disc brakes. Hydraulic disc. 11, yep, yeah, it's a 1 by 11. This is a Felt F55X. And I got it for about 45% off of the suggested retail price. So I'm going to put it over here on my workbench, uh, clip off the zip ties, and carefully cut off the bubble wrap, and I'll bring you back. Right, so I have all the bubble wrap off. It took quite a while, um, but it was very nicely done. I turned the stem around to face forward, I also very loosely screwed in the rear derailleur and that's when I thought I turned the camera on. Disclaimer, this is not an instructional video on how to assemble a bike out of the box. Um, I'm just turning on the camera to share with you the my experience, I guess, and my excitement. No, I'm going to put the handlebars on loosely and then the wheels. Let's do that. So I don't have the chain on yet. I want to spend some time with the rear derailleur to make sure I understand it before I put the chain on. I do have my pedals. I don't have my shoes yet. They're on order. So before you judge me about my white pedals, I ordered a white bike. It was supposed to be a white bike uh, with black, um, so I ordered the white pedals to match. Now I have a gray bike and it's not worth it to me to return the pedals and get black pedals. So don't judge me. You can judge me for other stuff, but not my pedals. Okay, I'm going to go do some research on this rear derailleur. It's a SRAM, uh, middle of the line, I forget which one it is. Um, SRAM ri Rival. SRAM Rival rear derailleur. It has a lock pin, which I think is the culprit, but I don't want to remove it. Uh, I'm going to do some research and maybe that's what I need to remove um, to get full motion out of the rear derailleur. I'll bring you back. As for the rear derailleur, I think I just wasn't pushing down hard enough on the rear arm where the jockey wheels are. Uh, I'm going to try to attach the chain now. Uh, I'm going to leave this uh, dummy disc or whatever it's called on there for now. I am going to remove the reflectors though because they are unbalancing the wheel. Basic assembly done. I have my felt cowbell and I have one screw left over. I'm not sure where this goes. I'm now going to set my limits on my rear derailleur 
to make sure I don't have any uh, catastrophes. Um, I'm not going to take it out for a ride right now because it's raining and windy due to the hurricane. But I'm super excited. I'm going to try to get a basic fit. <laughs> Trying to get into frame. Okay, so it's all set up. I mean, it's all assembled. I tightened down the bolts. I'm going to go through and check them again. Um, like the axle bolts and everything. Uh, it turns out I did not have an extra screw. It was just part of the reflector assembly uh, that I didn't put back together. So now I'm going to fine tune and then add my lights. As of right now, my seat is way too far back. I'm only wearing flip flops, so I'm not, uh, I'm not going to try to get the exact fit right now. Um, but my seat's too far back, I need to move forward. Um, my handlebars feel okay. I might reach with them up just a little bit. And the seat height could be okay. I'm going to, again, wait until I have my shoes on for stack height and other stuff like that. And then I'll show you the lights. So, here is my bike. Initial setup is done. And now it's time to put on the lights. I am going to be commuting on this bike as well as um, eventually getting into cyclocross. I'm not, a, I'm not a super competitive person so I'm not sure if I'll get into racing, but I might. Um, but I will, I do en enjoy the idea of going on the trails and even climbing over obstacles even if I'm just racing the clock on my way home. But my standard commute uh, equipment is going to include this Camelback backpack mule. I have a brake light um, attached to it. It flashes. I also bought this Hero Beam bicycle headlights, tail lights, and even wheel lights. Um, I'll have a link to both the backpack and to this down in the description. But let's put these on and see how they work. I've already put the batteries in them. I've already t sort of made sure they function, but let's see how they go on the bike. They come with a fat spacer and a thin spacer. I'm going to use the thin spacer here. The best kind of thread lock is cross thread. Just kidding. So they seem to fit better backwards because this this sort of scoop here can do that. This cutout seems to fit better there. So this uh, light has a solid bright, a flash, so solid bright, solid dim, oops, and a flash. I'm going to turn it around. See, now you can kind of wedge it in there. before you even tighten the thumb screw. It just seems much more secure. You can also change the battery without taking it out of the carrier. So I am going to be commuting most of the year on the bike. So I'm putting on two lights, one to flash and one to have as a solid light. The idea being that one would be on and one would be flashing. That's the idea. For the back of the bike I have these two silicone wrap lights. They can be solid or flashing. Oh, fast flash and slow fat flash. But with those two plus the light on my backpack. 
which can also be solid or flashing. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I have reflective stuff too, but so that's that. Also in this Hero Beam kit came two wheel lights. I'm going to put them on just to see what they look like. I might not leave them on, but they can be flashing fast, flashing slow, flashing, or solid. Demonstration purposes. <laughs> Alright, so that's totally unbalanced. So I don't think I'll be putting these on, even though they might look cool, they completely unbalance the wheel. So why did I buy this bike? The Felt F55X. It's a 2017 model. At least that's what I was told online. I was looking for a bike that I could do mostly roads, probably 80% roads, but also some trails. And so all of my research led me to cyclocross bikes. Um, they're basically modified road bikes. The bottom bracket, so where, where your pedals are, is a bit higher off the ground, so you don't, your feet don't hit the ground when you're pedaling. Otherwise, the geometry can be a bit elongated, but not necessarily. Um, the tires are typically fatter than road bikes and often have some tread uh, for riding on grass and, and dirt and so on. So why did I buy this bike? So my MSRP price range was around $2,000. I was hoping to pay a lot less than that, but that's kind of where I was targeting. And the main features that I wanted were hydraulic disc brakes, a one by setup, so that's one chain ring in the front, and in this case, 11 cogs in the back. Of course, I wanted a modern bike with um, a threadless stem. Um, I'm, I'm tired of the old threaded stems because I wanted to, the bike to fit me because I'm, I'm intending to do a lot of miles on this. Also, uh, I wanted clipless pedals, but you can get that in, in a lot of different bikes. So for me, it really came down to the one by um, gear set and also the hydraulic disc brakes. A wonderful thing about these hydraulic disc brakes, or I think hydraulic disc brakes in general, is that I just switched my left and right brakes in a matter of seconds. So there's couplers here. I disconnected them, swapped them, and reconnected them. I ride motorcycles a lot. My right hand is my front brake. That's what I'm used to. That's what I wanted on this as well. So this is now my front brake, whereas when it first showed up, it was my rear brake. This is now my rear brake over here. I'm ex that's why I bought this bike. It has the one by system, it has hydraulic disc brakes, and then it has the standard stuff of modern bikes. Um, it has modern components. It's an aluminum bike, so it's not the lightest. I didn't spring for the carbon frame. And that's why I got it. I will link below to uh, the lights that I used, but also the, the closeout sale from Mike's Cycles. I think that's what it is. This is not sponsored video from Mike's or from any of the other links that I post below. I bought all of this with my own money. Um, it was just a really good deal. I got this for $10.99. Um, I was about to buy a specialized Crux Sport E5 for almost $1,900. So thanks for coming along. I'm excited to get into cycling more, to start commuting and exploring the trails. Um, let me know if you have any questions. This was really easy to assemble so far. Um, I wish I could take it out for a ride, but I don't have everything that I need. And it's also raining and windy. And I don't want to have my first ride be a wet, dirty ride. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment on what you'd like to see below if you have any questions. And give it a thumbs up. Okay, happy adventuring.